Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. We're going to be working a financial mathematics problem, so we're going to read through the problem and make note of important um, terms and values. So uh, it says Martin takes out a simple interest loan. So when I see simple interest, I know I'm going to be using a formula that relates to simple interest. So I'm going to write down my formula for simple interest just in case I need it. Principal equals interest equals principal times rate times time is what we use for simple interest. Now let's continue reading. Martin takes out a simple interest loan at 4%. R is going to be 4%. After 10 months, which is our time, t 10 months out of 12 because t is always measured in years if we're given months you just write it over 12 so 10 twelfths of a year the amount of interest on the loan is eighty dollars and 93 cents the interest that we get is 80 93 what was the amount of the loan so the amount of the the loan is referring to the principal or in variables that's p so p is our unknown that we're looking for and we're going to round to the nearest dollar when we find it so filling in for i equals p times r times t what we have is eighty dollars ninety three cents is equal to principal times 0.04 remember r is always written in decimal when you plug it into the formula 0.04 times t 10 twelfths now there are a number of ways that we can go about solving for p here but i think the easiest way is to just think okay p is being multiplied by 0.04 and 10 twelfths so we're going to reverse that by dividing on both sides so i'm going to divide both sides times both of those factors 0.04 and 10 twelfths so what we're left with is that P is equal to 8093 over 0 0.04 times 10 twelfths. Now the tricky part in a lot of these problems is really just plugging into the calculator. You have to be careful here because 80.93 is being divided by this whole quantity. So when you plug into your calculator, you're going to take the 80.93 and you're going to divide it by the whole quantity 0.04 times 10 twelfths and I'm even going to put 10 twelfths in parentheses um, it's not actually necessary in this particular problem but if you get in the habit of putting the fractions in parentheses in your calculator you'll avoid certain errors later so pulling up the calculator and plugging that in we are going to have 80.93 divided by the first set of parentheses and then 0.04 times second set of parentheses 10 divided by 12 because remember a fraction is just division, close the first set of parentheses, close the second set of parentheses, and hit equals. And we have $2,427.90. But we were asked to find this to the nearest dollar, so that's approximately $2,428. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it because that will help other students to find the video. 